Nelson, traffic watch. That overturned tanker backing up traffic on Interstate 10 near Victory Drive may pose more of a threat than first thought. Officials fear that a toxic cloud may have been released and that winds may blow it over the southeast part of the city. Police are closing off the area and motorists are warned to stay away. We'll keep you informed bye, as this story bye. develops. Have Steve a good day. Wilson, Don't forget your lunch. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Yeah, it's looking real For serious. For day-to-day operations or an emergency situation, information is critical. The lifeblood of any organization in government or in business. All right, what's happening? How bad is it? Okay, Carl, we're still trying to get the big picture. We just have bits and pieces at this point. The fire department is telling us that it's likely class red. Odorless, colorless, highly toxic. Yeah, it's your worst nightmare. Okay, Harley has the uh, police department working on evacuation plans. Right now, the fire department's working to contain the spill and uh, they're checking the wind conditions, but we still don't have all the facts straight. What about the residents in the neighborhood? I mean, what do we know about them? Okay, the maps we've got are two years out of date, so we can't tell for sure if the new hospital and the elementary school are in the path or not. We're still waiting for some better reports from planning on that new residential development. At the moment, we don't have the maps. We need to lay out a good emergency route, but we're running them down. Good grief, what does it take? I mean, do you realize what's going to happen if we have to evacuate the entire area, and including a hospital? We're talking serious headaches. No wonder the guys in the press are all over my back. Information is essential to public services, but meaningless until it's organized into a form that is readily accessible Carl, on demand. Use, I'm afraid. What now? Timely, reliable information is basic to good government and effective decision making. Often, officials must make decisions without having the confidence that they're dealing with all the facts. Roberta, I need some answers. Now, everybody wants to know what's happening, and we don't have weeks. We don't even have hours. Can't you speed it up? The information age is here, and we're drowning in data, but starved for accessible, reliable, and accurate information. Managing a city, county, or public utility requires vast amounts of data, which can be turned into information about streets, sewer and water systems, land use, and development. Large amounts of time and money are spent trying to locate data often stored manually on hundreds of thousands of file cards, dog-eared maps, scraps of paper, important information stuffed into file cabinets and human memory banks. Many people are still trying to cope in today's information age by relying on maps and records that are frequently out of date, misfiled, inaccessible, confusing, and contradictory. No wonder it's becoming increasingly difficult to respond effectively not only to emergencies, but also to the daily demands of the community. How do you repair a broken water main if you can't find the shutoff valve? How can you send firemen to an address that doesn't exist on their maps? So how do you get to know everything required to make intelligent, informed, and effective decisions? Fortunately, technology has caught up with our increasingly complex needs. A technology called Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, is causing a revolution in the way we organize and manage land-related information. What exactly is GIS and how does it work? Simply stated, GIS is a computer-based technology of data, hardware, and software that stores and analyzes information about the Earth's surface. What's on it, what's underneath it, what land is worth, where natural resources, people, and utilities are located. More than 80% of all the information used by local governments relates to geography, the location of people, places, and things. All these diverse facts and figures are combined into a common database and can be overlaid onto a single map. A map display is visual and easier to understand than long tables of figures. Patterns, groupings, and relationships emerge more clearly and quickly through imagery than with complicated texts and numbers. Any point on the map can now become an index to cultural, economic, environmental, demographic, and political information about that location. Because GIS ties information from many different sources into a single base map, 
There are no more data inconsistencies, no more expensive and time-consuming redundant work efforts, and no more endless searches for information. And all this adds up to significant cost savings. GIS is a powerful, versatile tool that's best defined by its wide variety of applications. The primary use of GIS in day-to-day -day government operations shows that it is a workhorse. Local managers, planners, police and fire departments, and elected officials throughout North America are using it in a variety of exciting ways. Everything from optimizing school bus routes to selecting the best sites for fire stations, from reapportioning political districts to managing growth, from maintaining up-to-date tax records to organizing emergency services and tracking recovery efforts. GIS adds crucial intelligence to the critical requirements of emergency planning in a disaster. On October 17, 1989, a massive earthquake hit the San Francisco area. As death and injury estimates escalated, public safety personnel worked night and day trying to understand the full extent of the damage and injuries. Geographic information systems available at several Bay Area Sheriff and Police Departments played a crucial role in sifting through reports to create an accurate, up-to-the-minute damage assessment. GIS allowed officials to instantly map trouble spots, top of buildings, fires, and collapsed freeways, and to dispatch emergency vehicles and repair crews quickly and efficiently. With GIS, the crisis team converted vital facts and figures into meaningful, easy-to-comprehend visual images. GIS clearly shows its power in emergency planning. But its real versatility is best demonstrated in its routine use as an indispensable tool to support economic development, traffic analysis, planning, facilities management, and other everyday functions of local government. When the earth began to shake in San Francisco, it presented an immediate threat. Today, underneath our cities lies the potential for another kind of threat, the interruption of our urban lifeline, the deterioration of our infrastructure, Millions of feet of water and sewer pipes buried long ago are crumbling with age, with little or no record of their location or condition. Thousands of miles of roads and bridges are decaying from neglect with no schedule for repair or maintenance. GIS is the ideal tool for cataloging, managing, and planning maintenance of these assets. And GIS, unlike more traditional tabular computer systems, has the ability to integrate data from multiple sources and different departments. The city of Indianapolis and Marion County, Indiana, are using GIS to consolidate and store hundreds of thousands of maps and facilities documents scattered throughout the area into a single intelligent system. The community expects to save millions of dollars each year by eliminating redundant mapping efforts and expediting access to maps. We found quite an opportunity for cost savings in our facilities management system with the use of images. Uh, for an example, we find that if a pipe is, gets, gets old to the point where it begins to collapse, we can spend roughly $100 for every foot of pipe in the ground. If we can get to that pipe uh, before it gets too old, before it collapses, we can put it back in shape for about $14 a foot. Our community has 11 million feet of sanitary sewer, and if we are able to, to take the steps with all that pipe, we believe we can pay for the facilities management system every year of operation. Tax appraisers and assessors around the United States and Canada in places like Franklin County, Ohio, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Oxford County, Ontario, and Hennepin County, Minnesota are using GIS to manage the massive volume of tax records. The GIS in Hennepin County provides access to 2,500 maps, 8,300 streets, and 350,000 parcels. A property appraiser can simply point to a land parcel on the computer screen and immediately see the property's legal description, its valuation, and the owner's name. The system also provides the most recent appraisals, the assessments levied, and the structural characteristics of any building. It can even generate a high-resolution map of the area on paper or microfilm. And all this information is available in less time than it would take to look up a number in the phone book with savings to Hennepin County of over $3 million per year. A geographic information system has many uses for planning, growth management, and land development. Like a variety of other places, Knoxville and Knox County, Tennessee, 
are using GIS in community planning to analyze information on existing conditions and to assess likely changes in the future. Hey, the GIS system has been extremely uh, helpful in Knox County, particularly since we put in inspections. Also, it helps us to monitor uh, subdivisions and subdivision design so that all that's taken care of before it gets out there and gets in trouble. Uh, we also have been able to uh, improve considerably upon the amount of time it takes to change maps in Knox County. It used to be about a three-month trip, and now it's going to be done in minutes. The tax assessor particularly has been pleased with this part of it in that uh, he can bring his tax rolls up to snuff real quickly. One of the remarkable things about GIS is that it's uh, actually going to be one of the few things we ever do in government that pays for itself in a short while. The strength of GIS, in fact its real power, is its ability to analyze by linking layers of data and determining the impact of each layer upon another. You can use GIS to try out an idea first on the computer to test it and see the potential results long before you put it into effect. It can act as a kind of computer crystal ball, allowing you to conceptualize strategies for solving problems. Such was the case in Orlando, Florida. Uh, the city of Orlando was experiencing severe drainage problems and really an overabundance of water. And we needed to develop a new stormwater drainage system. What we did was use the GIS program to do this. We were able to develop very quickly uh, something to address this concern and spread a very large capital cost equitably across all the properties within a large city. They simulated different cost allocation schemes, answered key questions, and projected a range of what-if solutions. In answer to a series of questions about property size, adverse effects, and potential fees, officials were able to generate comprehensive and timely reports, literally in a matter of minutes. So we feel the GIS program was of great benefit to the city of Orlando to address a problem, to put a solution in place, and to do it in a very timely way. Innovative use of the geographic information systems can also contribute to effective crime prevention. Many law enforcement agencies have put GIS to use to manage their resources and analyze crime on a routine basis. GIS provides quick answers to questions such as, do the crimes occur in one general area? Are they random or serial in nature? Are there certain peak times and high-risk places? Answers to these questions enable law enforcement officials to make more effective use of their personnel in fighting crime. Dramatic and almost immediate results have been achieved with GIS. Following a series of unsolved robberies, Sheriff's deputies in one Southern California county used their GIS to plot the locations and times of the crimes, the MO, and other information. A study of the maps generated helped the detectives determine the area most likely to be hit next, and even predict the probable day and time the robbery would occur. On the basis of this analysis, additional personnel were assigned to the area during a specific time. The GIS-aided prediction was amazingly accurate the robbery took place within one hour of the predicted time, and the suspect was captured a few minutes later. The results of this application of GIS are indeed dramatic. Equally significant, though, are the benefits derived from other applications important to effective, responsive government. In Canada and the United States, legislators and local officials rely on GIS technology to speed the redistricting process. Without GIS, Drawing boundaries and justifying their locations to constituents and others is a tedious, labor-intensive task. GIS provides the ability to quickly analyze many alternative redistricting plans and to present the plans in a way that's easily understood by both decision makers and voters. Oxford County near Toronto, Canada represents a good example of GIS at work to promote economic development. Oxford managers use their GIS to help run their county, but they also take it on the road to trade shows. There, it is used to attract new business and development to their community. GIS provides prospective developers and investors with immediate facts, maps and graphic displays of available land, vacant industrial complexes, private or city-owned property, and virtually any other information necessary to assist them in formulating positive opinions. In order to transform okay, an organization from a group that reacts to problems by crisis management, you need the power that comes from reliable, 
accurate and timely information that is easily accessible. GIS is a problem solving and decision support tool to help you do your job better so you can be confident that you have the information you need to respond to unexpected emergencies as well as everyday demands for service. At its core, local government is a business and its product is service to the people. The pressure mounts each day to provide more and more service for less and less money with growing demands by citizens for accountability. Citizens of this community can benefit by knowing that all of the entities who have to use geographic information can be working from the same database. The planning department really has high hopes and envisions a lot of use for the geobase system. The GIS uh, system is uh, unique in the fact that it is uh, one of the things that's going to pay for itself, made it easy to sell to the people who have to finance it. We feel the GIS program was of great benefit to the city of Orlando to address a problem, to put a solution in place, and to do it in a very timely way. It's going to build a spirit of cooperation. It's going to help us to do a better job of caring for our infrastructure, which is a major national problem. And at the same time as we do that, we're going to be saving some money for the taxpayers. In today's competitive, information-driven world, the question is not whether to invest in GIS, but when and how. GIS is not a luxury. GIS is an everyday necessity. Geographic information systems, the information solution for local government. ERISA, the Urban and Regional Information Systems Association, is one of the best ways to learn about GIS, its technology, its applications, and related management issues. ERISA acknowledges the generous support of these program underwriters. GeoVision Corporation, IBM Corporation, Utility Graphics Consultants, Environmental Systems Research Institute, Intergraph Corporation. ERISA also thanks the following for their support.